Hello, my name is Joe, and in this course, I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV, and games. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also, if you find this helpful, please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry games. <coughs> so, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, import custom UV maps. Um, just so you're aware that these, these uh, videos in this section are more self contained videos, it's not like the previous ones where you have to follow the previous video. I've done this so that people can say, well, you know, how do I look at, how do I create a normal map? Um, or how do I create a UV map and things, you know, things, things like that. So that you can just look at those videos straight away and then hopefully take those videos and then um, get the principles for your software. Or if you're using Metashape, you just follow along. So basically if we go to tools in Metashape, mesh, view mesh UVs, what this is gonna do is this is gonna show us how our texture or model is unwrapped to apply a texture to so essentially how it is flattened now something like this obviously is quite messy um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you an example i haven't you know spent ages tidying it up or anything like that it's just to show you the differences that um you know of how, how to import a uv map and the differences um that we can see so um obviously you want your your uv maps to be as efficient as possible like you know things like for instance if i was to unwrap this i'd probably do it around the seam of the boot here you know under the seam of the leather things like that so it gets it nice and tidy and um you when you're looking at this you know exactly ah right that's where this section you know this section is unwrapped i can look at that and that's where the stitching is so when i'm looking in a texturing program i know exactly where i am as i say i'm just going to be using an auto generated one from uh, rism here and so i've just literally just auto generated this just to give you an uh, a quick idea of the differences so what we want to do is we want to right click on our chunk here import model and i've got a low quality version here so this is the one that we've decimated and i've applied the uvs the custom uvs to this and we're going to import it so what this is going to do is say do you want to load the texture layout yes and um, we'll just say no so we can see the differences so that's imported our boot so now what we um we have here is we have the one with the uh meta shape uvs so before our edit so we'll look at that and now we have our new one which is, there we go, it's different. So, so you can see here that we've got like a bigger chunk of the boot and we've got more, you know, the labels there, things like that. Obviously, when you're doing it or, you know, if you're a professional in it, you'll have properly unwrapped these. I've just done this as an example to show you, um, to speed up the process. Now, what you have to remember is that when you import a model, you need to rebuild the textures. Now, what we do here is it's a similar principle. Select our model as always before. Right click on chunk, process, build texture, diffuse map, um, keep it as it is. That's going to go through our um, building of, of our texture. And this is processed our texture just like before, and it's exactly the same principle. Right click, uh, process, texture, drop down. Again, we've got our normal map here, um, occlusion map. So we do the, the same thing. And then what we do is we obviously export our texture out. So obviously, because we've created our custom UVs, um, what we want to do is that we have no real reason, unless we've made changes to the model, we have no real reason to export the model out. So all we need to do now is just export our texture. So we can go export, uh, right click export, um, export texture, same principle as before, choose your format, export it out, and then you'll be able to apply it to your model with your custom UVs. As, as we can see here, we should probably see more of the texture now. Um, yeah, so it's it's, 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 well, it's not it's really the same. It doesn't look like it generates the texture on, on this, but um, we now have basically our texture mapped onto our new UVs. So let's move on to the next part.